Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Jenny, and today we're going to the ocean to meet Danny Washington, one of Hannah's STEAM heroes. Are you ready to hear how you can rebuild the world with ocean advocacy? All right, Danny, take it from here. Thank you, Dr. Jenny. Hi there, I'm Danny, and I'm an ocean advocate. My STEAM superpower is communication. I'm so excited to be one of Hannah's STEAM heroes and show you how my job as a science communicator is a STEAM career. I was born and raised here in Miami, Florida, and I've lived close to the ocean most of my life. And so that interaction with the ocean inspired me to study marine biology. After studying marine biology, I realized that there was a gap in communication between the science world and the general public. And so I wanted to serve as a catalyst to help bridge that gap of information and knowledge. Oh look, check this out. This is a Portuguese man of war. My favorite part of my job is being able to explore the natural world, especially in the ocean. I'm a scuba diver and I really enjoy going to different marine ecosystems. This is my kit right here that I travel with all over the world when I go diving. The most important piece of equipment is this right here. This is my regulator and I use this to breathe. I place it in my mouth like this and I can breathe. One of my favorite things about my journey is that I've been able to transform my passions into a career that didn't exist before. When I said, oh, I wanna be a science communicator, most people would ask me, what does that even mean? And so I had to come up with it on the fly. It was almost like building a plane as it was taking off on the runway. It hasn't been easy, that's for sure. A lot of people doubted, but you have to believe in yourself every single step of the way. Working in a STEAM career requires a lot of different skill sets. Confidence is absolutely essential in my job. When I step on set or in front of a camera, I have to believe in myself 100% to do the work that I do. It's a little nerve wracking because you've got people standing around looking at you the entire time. And to also know what you're talking about requires some research. This is called halomita. It's an interesting type of algae that grows right here on the coast of Florida. And when it dies, it calcifies. It turns into this white powdery stuff and eventually it becomes sand. Collaborating with different people, you've got to ask questions all the time. There are no dumb questions. And as a science communicator, I have to talk to experts, people who are top of the top in their field in topics that I really don't know too much about, but I learn from these individuals by asking questions. The ocean that covers most of our planet is our life source. It provides oxygen that we breathe. It also provides food for lots of people around the world, and it helps regulate our climate. And without a healthy ocean, we won't have a healthy community anywhere. There are three main challenges facing the ocean today. The first is marine debris, looking at all the different waste and plastic materials that leave land and end up in the ocean. The second challenge is harmful fisheries, where we're taking too much fish out of the ocean at once and not allowing these fish to recover in population. The third challenge is climate change and ocean acidification. The ocean chemistry and temperature is changing rapidly, and we have to find new solutions to help restore the ocean quickly. I think what's interesting is that with all the environmental challenges that we're facing today, it took some type of creativity and innovation to create the problem, but we can apply new thinking, new ideas, to come up with new materials to help resolve those same problems. We can get ourselves out of this mess. We all have the opportunity to make a difference, like these kids behind me who are currently doing a beach cleanup. This is something that you can do in your own local community, along your own waterway. It doesn't necessarily have to be the beach. It could be a canal, a river, a stream. Rebuild the world. Small steps lead to big change. Having a STEAM career means you're a problem solver. And as an ocean advocate, one of the biggest challenges facing the health of the ocean is marine debris. The ocean covers 70% of the world's surface and it's in trouble. There's a call on governments and world leaders to increase the level of protection for marine environments, protecting 30% of the ocean by 2030. This isn't just a problem for governments to solve. It will take innovation, creativity, and connectivity to make a difference. And you can make a difference right in your own community. Even if you live miles away from an ocean, all water is connected. So the rivers, streams, and lakes across the country and world will eventually feed into the ocean. And that's where a lot of debris starts. To help restore the ocean, we'll need the right tool for the job. And I need your help. 
Can you help build a solution? Great. It's time to design a device that can clean and protect waterways in your area. It could be a collector device to collect things that float down the river or canal in order to remove them before they reach the ocean, or an innovative way to clean the beach if you live near coastline. Remember, not every solution will work in every place. Think about what makes your area unique or challenging. How would you design differently if you lived in another area? I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks for watching. As you can see, I absolutely love my job as an ocean advocate, and I can't wait for you to discover or create what you love to do. Let's rebuild the world one small change at a time. Bye, everyone.